Hey everybody, Phil here with Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. We are going to have some fun today. Well, at least I know I am. Um, you can have some fun at my expense, which would be fine with me. That's okay too. Today I'm going to be doing a little round, 12 inch round. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm all going to do. It's going to involve some swiping and maybe some wrecking and, and who knows what else. But we will find that out. Uh, Kathy has already put her base down. It's just plain old white paint. No silicone, no water, no glue, right out of the can. And that's all we use for the pillow. We'll go over our uh, colors. We're going to start out with, I don't know, can you see that over here? Mm -hmm. It's the Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. And then we have Cupid's Crush from Color Art. We're going to start adding some glitz with prism oh, pores. Somebody's calling. Pardon me? okay? If somebody's calling, is it somebody's okay? Somebody's Oh. Will that show up in the video? No. Who called? No. Oh, okay. That's fine. Keep going. <laughs> okay. I don't know because I don't do this. Oh, well, that's true. Okay. Uh, we have it on Do Not Disturb, so we should be okay. Uh, we're going to add some glitz with a prism pour. Uh, this is the Egyptian coin prism pour. Now we're going to go to the golden vat orange. A little more glitz with chrysocolla, chrysocolla, one of those I think is the right pronunciation, but whatever it is, it's a beautiful color. I'm going to add some Amsterdam deep gold. We're going to go with Greek Isle from Color Art. Some more prism pour. This is the color of Envy. Might need to shake that a little bit. Though. Shake it a little bit. Okay, Envy. And we're going to end with the Quinacridone Rose from I don't know who. Amsterdam, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, there we go, there we go. So we got some really cool colors, and let's see how I'm going to do this. All right, usually I make a huge mess. Kathy has been coaching me on how to do this without making a, Just a big mess. Just one suggestion. Yes. Please leave your color inside the pool or the pillow, not outside. I see. Oh, from, uh, don't put any on the, mm -mm. okay, Correct. so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to How's that? Whoa. <laughs> is that okay? Yes. Yeah, too much? Could, is no. that might be too much? Okay. No, and you can layer them on top or I'm going to yeah, I'm going to do some uh, straight lines like that. Uh this one I'm going to do a little zigzag on so we get a little variety. And I still made Don't a mess. Don't forget your prism pours. I know. The next one is our prism pour, which is Egyptian coin. And it's right out of the bottle, already made for me. Makes it nice and easy. Golden Vat Orange. Oh, next prism pour, which should add some nice goods to it. I love this color, is the Chrysocolla Chrysocolla. And I add some gold to this, Deep Gold by Amsterdam. Another primary element, Greek Isle. This is a beautiful blue. Another nice prison pour called Envy. And last but not least is this Quinacridone Rose by Amsterdam, I believe. Hopefully that's not our refrigerator coming. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now I've got my colors layered. Now I'm asking you a question, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Can I tip this and move this uh, side to side before I put the cell activator on or should I just swipe it? 
Swipe it. You can do what you want, but my uh, what I would do is I'd swipe it. Swipe it. Okay. All right. So this is my first attempt ever at a big swipe with the cell activator on the back of a large spatula. Cell activator, of course, is Kathy's That's Amsterdam good. black paint. And don't tip it off. Aust Bring it over into the pool, please. Okay. I see. All right. And Australian flow troll. I'm not sure I have enough on here. You think I have enough on here, Coach? Uh, maybe just a tad. Uh, you got pretty much on there. Think so? Okay. I don't think you need more. Okay. 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 Oh, quit spr <laughs> You're getting it off. Oh, okay. All right. So now I'm going to attempt to swipe here. Oh. Why did you do that? Why did you lift that like that? <laughs> you, you do not want to do this. I dug way into the base paint. You lifted it up. That's why. Well, because I was digging in. I didn't get the angle. You were fine. I didn't get the angle that I wanted. and I. You're fine. I think that's going to be a big problem. You're fine. You're just going to have a little white in there, which that might be okay. Uh, well, we'll might see. Might look really nice. You never know. You never know. That's true. That is is not what I wanted to do. You know, I've watched Kathy do this hundreds of times, and I know she has a nice shallow angle, very lightly and gently swipes. But to actually do it in person is uh, another thing, so. Uh, yeah, but you're getting nice uh, cells. Okay. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Your cells are gorgeous. All right. They're really now, pretty. I'm thinking now do, that I maybe want to do some wrecking. What do you think? Um, if you want to, you can get rid of this. You can bring some of the colors in, and you can get rid of your ick. Should I use the thicker end or the thinner end? Mm. You're going to have to hold on to your, always oh, hold oh, on to okay, this, otherwise it's going to spin on you. All right. Okay. Uh, you, can do, you can do either or. You can see what you're going to do. See? That'll okay. get rid of your. Oh, I gotta wipe this. That's right. You gotta wipe your stick after every. Don't drag it. Oops, I did see. He, I. Don't overdo it. Okay. Get rid of yourselves. Okay, just wanna. Okay, now, now we are thinking of that we have to do some tipping. You can do whatever you want. Um, I would tip. Okay, let's do a little tipping here. Well, you're picking up the whole thing. Yes, I am. The nice thing about. Kathy's spinner, it's not that heavy, so you don't have to I work. would tip it a little faster so you don't. Okay. Bring it all the way off, maybe. Okay. Off one end, because you got enough paint. Okay. Am I, uh, am I, I can't tell if I'm Towards off. me. I know, I can't tell if I'm already, if I'm off. No, you're not. Okay, I'm losing too much okay. of my. Okay, no, now go the other way. It's really pretty. I like it. You're not losing too much of anything. Yeah, tip it your way. Go a little faster. Well, okay. All right. We are getting there. That's fine. Don't worry. We have okay. more time here than... You want me to get the uh, colors uh, off the edge, right? You don't have to. Well... It's, it's, it's your creation. Okay. It, whatever you want to do. I just want to get that white there, I think. Okay, then you have to go down I am, that way. I am. It's... It's really pretty. The colors are super vibrant. Super vibrant. I just want to get a little bit of that white off if that's. You can get it off. Okay, with Keep you. Keep going. All right. How's I'm that? loving it. It's pretty. 
Now that it's really I do. Really pretty. I, I like I like this um, composition. I like the composition. I, I don't think I have to do any more tipping, right? Mm, I wouldn't. Okay, so just hold on a second. Now what get, are you doing? I'm gonna get. I want to be able to see what. Uh, Oh, you think I can hold both of these now? No, I no, have no, a problem no, no. just doing one. I'll tell you, let's switch. Because I don't know where the flashlight is. Here it is. Here. Okay, here we go. Here. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this. I think okay. it, there's a couple of bubbles. I'm going to get rid of them. Yeah, right Kathy will get rid of the bubbles. Oh, I gotta get out. I don't have gloves oh, on, people. That chrysocolla chrysocolla. I just love that color. That's that bluish color there. Well, Kathy gets through the bubbles. We'll take a little tour of this and just look at the wonderful sparkle and glitz you get from the prism pores. And then we got just wonderful, vibrant colors from everything that we, uh, all the colors that we used on this. So, so ah. I'm happy with how this turned out. I love this. I like that I did a little bit of wrecking, so we, you know, add a little interest to uh, the areas and we still retain some really nice, large, colorful cells. Okay. I'm going to have Kathy turn that around. So I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed doing this. As you can see, it's there's not that many steps to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, I think the key to this to get such vibrant colors is, of course, Kathy's pouring medium, her cell activator, the quality products that she uses is very important too, and then you just have fun with it. Um, I. As everybody knows, I, I'm not an artist. I really don't know what I'm doing. Kathy coaches me through this. I had a lot of fun. I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to subscribe to Kathy's YouTube channel, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Also, her Facebook group would love to have you. You can post your own creations, ask questions, make comments. Um, other than that, I just took Hope this was a, an enjoyable video for you. So, until the next time, everybody, stay healthy, stay well, stay safe. Remember, it's only paint. And we'll all see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love you all. Here we go. One last look. And I'm no professional here, so just bear with me. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Ooh, that looks like a little paw print or a butterfly in there. It's pretty. It's really pretty, people. How to get it to turn off. Okay, here we go. Bye.